a big hola and boa tarde to everybody here. But I'll hand you over to Shanti Im immediately so that we don't waste any time with the Portuguese lesson because she has so much to teach us and she's doing such an That's excellent true. job. Yes. But she's given us Definitely. homework, if you remember. Yes, homework. Yes, I yes. hope everyone has yes. done their homework. Yes. 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 Yes, <laughs> yes we have. Yes, Who, we has have, not we have. The reminder. Who has not done the homework? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> done, done. Hands up. You all done. Uh, everyone. Okay. Boa tarde. 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 Shanti, Shanti. Yeah. Vamos começar. Sim. Vamos começar. Sim, Sim. Sim. Ah, faz favor. Faz favor. Sim, faz favor. É. Vamos começar. Means let's start. Ok. Vamos. Ok. Começo. Começo. So you... oh, yo, yo. Shanti, please unmute. Sorry. Okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, vamos começar means let's start. Começar is to start. Okay? I am wanting to do the verbs today, start with verbs. So, I don't know whether... So, first, have you done your homework? Can you show me on your screens? Here is my homework. Only Encima. Good. E Good. Encima. Muito Encima. bem, muito bem. Muito bem. Ah. Hum, muito bem. Yes. Muito bem. <laughs> ok. So, let's go back. So, everyone has done their homework. So, I will be giving you then a surprise test one of these days. Soon. <laughs> Is that okay? Yes? <laughs> okay. So, uh, you all have been diligent students. So, I am I'm very encouraged. I thank you. Muito obrigada. You know, I am a lady, so I say obrigada. If I was a man, I would say obrigado. Uh, literally, it means I am obliged. It means I am obliged. So, if I am a man, I would say obrigado. And if I'm a lady, then I will say obrigada. So, I'm very thankful to you for your enthusiasm. Uh, those of you who have messaged me uh, directly, I'm sorry, I, it's not possible, it's not practical to uh, message back, especially, you know, good morning and things like that. But if you have any difficulties, if there is something that you would like to ask or uh, clarify or would like me to explain again, I'm always there, okay? Lorraine will be giving you my, my direct phone number at the end of this, uh, of the session. Or oh, I think she may send it to you. I don't know. Uh, but you can always contact me directly about any difficulty or anything to be clarified. Okay? So, uh, am I going fast? Since I cannot hear you, just nod your heads a little. Or no? Am I fast? Okay. 
No. Uh, you all can okay. unmute yourselves and speak and then mute yourselves so that there's no disturbance. You all okay no, to unmute? No, Chanti. No, Chanti. No, not right. Not clear. Right. It's You're very not clear. Very, very clear. And nice and nice. Just right. It is for me. Yeah. Okay. So, Perfect. if I am not giving you too many words and it is okay, then I will carry on. Okay? Okay. We can't so, hear you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I would like to start with verbs today. Just start. Okay? And we will do maybe only one kind of verbs. Now, the verbs in Portuguese are regular and irregular. All right? Yeah. So, the verbs in Portuguese are regular and irregular. The regular verbs are all conjugated exactly in the same way. All of them have one of the following three endings. A-R, E-R, and I-R. Like, for example, there will be andar. Andar means to walk. Yes. Andar is to walk. to walk. Yes. Falar is to Talk. Falar is to talk. Cantar is to sing. Okay? So these are three verbs which, three of the verbs which end in A-R. Okay? Cantar. Cantar is to sing. Now, then there are the verbs ending in E-R. Like, kumer. Kumer is to eat. Beber is to drink. Vender. Vender is to sell. Vender is to sell. Okay? Similarly, there are words in ending in IR, which is abrir. Abrir is to open. Partir. Partir is to break. So, this way there are... Now, the regular verbs are so nice, you know. Once you learn them, you know to conjugate any verb. They're very... They're conjugated exactly in the same way. So, once you learn the sequence, just when you learn the sequence of I, you... He, she, it, we, you, they. You will know to conjugate any regular verb. Okay? Irregular yeah. verbs are just a few. So we will do them and you will find it easy by the time we reach there. They will not be difficult. But for now, first we will do the regular verbs. Okay? Now, let us take this verb, falar. Yes. The verb falar means to talk. To talk. Now, you have done the pronouns already. The pronouns are eu, that is I. I tu, that is it. you. Você, which is you, when you are not familiar. Tu, you use tu to say you when you are familiar with the person. But when you are not familiar with that person, you use the, uh, the you, which is você. Ele, ela. He or she. There is no it because everything has a gender here. 
in Portuguese, everything has a gender, has either the masculine gender or the feminine gender. Okay? So, you say, ele, ela, or he or she, nós, or we, vocês, or you, eles, elas. Okay? There is another respectful way of speaking, which I will come to later on. Uh, we don't say uh, to a person, when you want to talk respectfully, you do not say você, but you say o senhor or a senhora. You know, it is a respectful way of talking. In English, we use it for your majesty. You know, you, when you, you uh, are speaking or your eminence for a religious person. So, the same way in Portuguese, when you talk to someone to whom you want to show respect, you don't say você, even though it it's not for it's for un, not familiar, but for respectful people, or when you want to show your respect, you say o senhor, a senhora. I don't know if you have uh, uh, you're able to appreciate it right now, but if if not. Don't worry, we will come to it more in detail later. Now, Elish Alash is they. Elish for masculines and Alash for feminine. So, now the word stem, that is F A L fa falar, remains the same. And instead of the A R, it becomes your falu. Okay? Your falu to falar. Você fala. See, the stress is on the before last syllable. Your falu to falar. Você fala. Ele fala. Ela fala. Nós falamos. Okay, it's quite it's quite easy once you learn it. You just have to remove the keep the stem, and instead of the a r for you, it is your falu. So you have to. I don't know those who have learned French in school will know the same way. You had to learn it the same way. Similar way. Okay? You have to learn the verbs almost like you learn the tables. You know, it has to be learned in order and you have to know it. Okay? So we just say it together again. All of you can say it because you're muted. Eu falo, tu falas, você fala, ele fala, ela fala, nós falamos, falamos. See, the stress is on the la. Nós falamos, vocês Falam, eles falam, elas falam. Okay? So, similarly, let us take another verb. Yes? Yes, anyone? Yes. It's lovely. Um, okay. Okay. Now we will take another verb with a similar, similar uh, ending. Andar. Wow. Andar is to walk. Falar was to talk. Andar is to walk. So yo andu. Yo andu. Uh, Lorraine has nicely underlined the endings here. So the stem remains the same. And you and do 
yes to andar você anda ele anda ela anda nós andamos vocês andam eles andam elas andam Okay? So, andar is to walk. So, you have to sit, and those of you who are beginners have to learn this conjugation of the verbs. Okay? If you have any uh, difficulty, as I told you, please call me. I have no... Um, problem with any one of you calling me if you have a difficulty with something of Portuguese. Okay? So, we will take another verb. Uh, Lorraine, is there another verb? Observar, I think. Lorraine? <clears throat> Uh, observe is on the screen. Yes. Here's another verb. It's up I, on the I've screen. taken a verb. It's up on the screen already. Shall yes. See? Can you see it? Obs observe. Observer. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. 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 Okay. So, to observe. I took a verb with three syllables. Observar. So when you say the word observar, you put the stress on the last syllable. Observar. Observar. Because it ends with a R. Okay? You remember the rule that when there is no accent in any word where there is no accent to show you where you have to, which syllable you have to stress, then it is always the before last syllable which you stress on, except when the word ends with a R, L, Z. Okay? So the word observar, you, when you say it, you say observar. Observar. To observe. Observar. But when you are conjugating it, you conjugate, it's not ending with the R. So you conjugate it by keeping the stress on the before last syllable. Okay? We can't the see the last me. syllable. Yes? I can't see the main screen. I'm seeing uh, everything. Yes, it's a little to the side. I think, uh, Lorraine, can you center it, please? I, this is mine is in gallery. You got to be in speaker mode, uh, Bertie. What do I do now? Wait, what do I go to? Just, I wouldn't. What I, are you I, on a mobile? I, I'm on, on a no. I put a tablet. Uh, and I, uh, Bertie, I'll, Bertie, I will send it to you. I have taken a picture of that. Okay, okay, okay. Because I can't see yeah. any screen, anything. Bertie, you'll find the word view somewhere on your screen. You? Tap view. Maybe up in the right-hand corner. View. Tap on that. I can't see any word. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Try sliding your screen left or right. Okay. But now I can't see the... I just went to gallery and this is what happened. Uh-oh. Oh, golly, I don't know what to do now. What do you have sent it to you? Just watch, uh, see on your WhatsApp. Leave the meeting and oh, you come can back. call me later. You can call me later if you like. You can call me after this session. Okay. Okay, so send so me a sorry. message. Bertie, there will be a recording will, of the session. 
uh, it will be on YouTube. You could have a look at, at it later if it is yes, not visible. Yes. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Okay. So we are doing the verb now. Observar. Observar is spelled is pronounced with stress on the last syllable. In English, we say observe, but here we say observar. The stress is on the last syllable because it ends with an R. But when you conjugate it, the stress comes, shifts to the before last syllable. Yo observo. Tu, tu observas. Você observa. The, 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 the underlining is only on the A. Lorraine, there's a little, uh, okay? It's only the A, not V-A. Okay. Uh, which so, one, Chandi? Uh, você observa, ele observa. Ela observa is okay. Okay. Then the underlining has been done on the V also. Yes, yes, okay. exactly. Above that. No, the, the V is not to be um, underlined. Okay. Yeah, only the A. Because the ending is only the A. Yo observo, O, ends with an O. Tu observas, ends with an A, S. Okay. Você observa, ends with an A. Ele observa, ela observa, they both end with an A. So all these verbs, as I told you, you have to learn them like you learn timetable or something. Not timetable, what do you call it? Sorry, tables, tables, school tables. Okay. Can I ask you no, a question? No, 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 no. Lorraine, I think uh, you have uh, Why you say your... underlined VA. Only the A. Only the A to be underlined. Shanti, can I ask you a question? Why is observe only masculine? We all observe. It's not masculine. It's not masculine. See, masculine and feminine are only. Why only, that, the why, nouns. only why that is we why only that no, is it is not it is not no, no it is the if you have learned french in school you will know that oh, okay. conjugation this is nothing to do with masculine or feminine masculine and feminine is for conjugation. nouns is for adjectives okay it's not for verbs verbs is the ending O has got nothing to do with masculine. Whether it's a lady or a man, you say, yo observo, I observe. It has nothing to do with the feminine. There's no feminine and masculine here. It is just the ending is an O. And uh, Lorraine, you have to can, uh, correct that. Yes, observa is okay. Uh, você and Ailey. Only the A what has to be underlined uh, above. Nos, observa must uh, remove the A, M, O, S. No, no, no. All this is correct. Only for okay. Ailey. Up I've there, changed. The, the brown one okay. and the green you one. Want the a. It's yes. only for the A. Yes, yes. The underlining is only for the A. Just like in the previous one. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So. Okay. So, observar. You have to learn these verbs. There's no, uh, there's no shortcut to it. Okay. There's no other shortcut. There's no explanation. It is just that you have to learn. That it is yo observo, tu observas, você observa, ele observa, 
No, very good. Yes. Uh, what say also? The third one, what say observa? Yes. Up there. Yeah. So, okay. So, after you learn the conjugation well, you will be able to conjugate any verb. It's just a little getting used to it, you will find that you are able to conjugate any verb, which is any, any regular verb, which is ending with A-R. Uh, Shanti, may I ask right. you something? That was uh, yes, saying observa, it ends in A-M, yes. but the M is silent, is it? Or does it take on a nasal sound or something? A-M. Yes, yes. Vosesh observau. It's pronounced, you know, you kind of, uh, uh, you kind of say, oh, this is the only place where, very good question. It is not, the, otherwise, A-M becomes a. Uh. But here we say, it's, it's a little bit of an exception where you say, Vosesh observau. English observer. Okay. Um. okay, it's not just ah, uh, it is ah. Um. Uh. And many, many other places also it is ah. Um. The A M. Okay, it is observer. English observer. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, it's not ah, uh, um, it's, it's never um. M when when it begins or it is in the middle, then it's okay. But it's when it's at the end of a syllable, it always makes the sound nasal. And here it is Elish observum, Vosesh observum, Elish observum. Okay. Try to do these, try to learn these uh, verbs loudly. Mm -hmm. You know, because then you can hear yourself and see whether you are doing it correctly. Because after all, you are never going to answer an exam, a written exam. It's all right. It's so what you are doing is little by little getting used to the sound the same of the Portuguese language. Okay. All right. So, Shanti, I think we have... You're getting to... used to the sound of the Portuguese language. Yes. Ah. That was... Uh, it ends very fast. <laughs> it, it did, it did. Everybody is so engrossed. And I think we're all so interested in learning this language. But uh, I must add one thing. No, uh, please. <laughs> yes, Shanti. Are you saying something? No, please believe me. The, the, the beginning is the most difficult. Yes. yes the, the beginning is always the most difficult. It will get easier. But okay? you're, That's you're all. making it easier for us. Thank you so much. And uh, today, if many might have noticed, with everyone staying muted, it was much easier to hear the sounds the pronunciation because with a new language that's what we need to learn you know it's not just the words we can learn them from anywhere but the actual sound is so important and thank you all so much thank yeah, you once again very true, very true very true yes now i think it's time to move on though we would love to go on and on with this portuguese Thank you, Shanti. Obrigada. 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 Obrig